Well, Chuck, in the first round of the Southern Conference Tournament Thursday night, BPI plays Furman University. And, of course, Furman has All-American Daryl Floyd on their team. And uh, Floyd has scored 70 points against BPI in two games this season. How do you plan on stopping Floyd Thursday night? Well, Ed, that seems to be our big problem. We have tried in the past two ball games we've had with him this year, practically every imaginable defense to try and stop him, yet, as you say, he scored 70 points. We tried a man-to-man -man, uh, defense last time we were up here with a box zone around him, and he still managed to score something like 25 points. As of now, we, uh, we plan, I think, mostly to try man-to-man -man defense against him, and if that fails, we're going to try to switch back to the zone that we used back here. Well, Chuck, uh, so far this season, you have used two main offenses, a fast-breaking offense against some teams, and then against other teams, a slow-down type of tactic. Uh, what do you plan tomorrow for Furman? Definitely slow down, Ed, because uh, I think that they have a lot better, uh, faster personnel than we have, and I believe if we went out there and tried to run with them, uh, they would practically run us out of the gymnasium. Mm -hmm. Well, Chuck, now this BPI team of this year is regarded as the best team that Tech has put out basketball-wise in five years. And aside from some fine coaching and hustle by you as their coach, uh, what's been the main reason for the success this year? Well, Ed, I think the uh, real big boy that we had this year that did the best job for us was Bill Matthews, uh, who made uh, captain of the All-State team and made the sports writers All-Southern Conference team. He has had his best year, I think, in college basketball by far. He uh, made something like 500 points. He got 15 or 16 rebounds per game. And he has been the boy in the clutch practically every ball game that we have had this year, every close ball game, I'll say, that uh, we have won. Bill has been the big boy behind it all. Well, Chuck, most of the opposing coaches who have played you this season say you have a fine prospect in Terry Penn, the freshman boy from Mullins, West Virginia. Well, Ed, Terry is a mighty fine basketball player, and I think that he has a, an awfully good future. Uh, he has the determination to become a better basketball player, and he's worked awfully hard toward that goal. Uh, he's a nervous little fellow who, in about three or four of our ball games in the final moments, has done an awfully good job for us and has been a tremendous factor in those close ball games. Well, Chuck, getting back to the tournament again, what team do you think is the team to beat uh, for the championship? Yeah, definitely George Washington, I think, is the uh, team for the leading contender for the championship. I think West Virginia is a close second. And, of course, you have to consider Richmond because of the home court advantage. Well, of course, VPI finished in third place in the conference uh, this season. Do you think uh, VPI can go all the way and perhaps upset the Dopesters? Well, Ed, I say it would have to take a tremendous amount of luck. Uh, if we get by firm, I think we have a pretty good chance with West Virginia. It's just a question of our shooting ability or just how hot we are in the tournament. I think if we shoot respectively, uh, respectfully we, we might do a pretty good job down there. Mm -hmm.